Hi friends, I am Dr. Sikandar Ali, the Assistant Professor of General Surgery at KVC Hospital Karachi. Today we are going to discuss about the anatomy of cervical spine on X-ray neck. It views AP, lateral and odontoid, open mouth view and systematically we will discuss A, B, C, D, S where A stands for alignment, B for bone, C for cartilaginous species, D for discs and S for soft tissues. So here it is X-ray neck lateral view and start with alignment and never forget four lines of alignment. First one the anterior vertebral line, second one the posterior vertebral body line, third one the spinolaminal line and fourth one the spinous line. Secondly we talk about the bones and we will start with the C1 and C2 because their anatomy is slightly different from the rest of the vertebrae. The important features of C1 or atlas on X-ray neck lateral view are the anterior tubercle, here it is, and the posterior tubercle. As a C1 or atlas has no invertebral body, instead the dense process of C2 or axis articulates with C1 and its shadow is overlapped by dense process of C2. A small space visible on X-ray between the anterior tubercle of the atlas and dense process of C2 or axis is normal. Here we, we see the vertebral bodies of cervical spine. The upper surfaces of the bodies are typically flat and lower one are the concave. There are bony landmarks on the bodies of the cervical spine vertebras and which show the transfer processes. Then look for the alignment of pedicles, laminas and spinous process of the vertebras. Here the intervertebral spaces are the disc spaces and the, this cartilaginous disc, uh, the pathologies will be discussed in detail in the part 2 of the lecture. All grey areas in this x-rays are show the soft tissue shadows. The space between dotted lines is called prevertebral soft tissue shadow. The level of epiglottis, trachea, Lengopharynx, oropharynx, nasopharynx. The prevertebral space between the cervical spine and pharynx is normally measured to be 6 mm. And between spine and trachea, normally measures to be 2 cm, including the esophagus. So let's have a look on anterior posterior view of X ray neck. And first of all, identify the T1. This uh, is T1 and uh, its transfer processes are slightly going upward and above that we uh, mark that uh, C7 then C7, C6, C5, C4 and C3 C2 and C1 are better seen on the odontoid view or open mouth view so uh, again see the alignment of the vertebral bodies and transfer processes. Don't forget to look for the intervertebral disc spaces and in center this black lucency indicates the trachea and there are some bony markings on the vertebral body. This shows the spinous uh, process of the vertebral bodies. And last have a uh, look on soft tissues of neck. So here is open mouth view and uh, the clearly seen are the C1 C2 and dense process of C2.